Well, good morning and happy National Ag Day. To kick it off, I want to ring a bell. How about that? Y'all ready for this? <laughs> you know, we're here today for this great occasion, and we celebrate it every year. But this year, we wanted to do something that was extra special, and that is to shine a light on the reality that our food, all of it, comes from the farm. Our food comes from the farm. And we're here today in support of our farmers. There are fewer farmers now than there ever have been, but our farmers are feeding everybody. Everybody who enjoys a meal, you can rest assured that meal came from a farm somewhere. It began on the farm. And so before we do anything else, can we just give all our farmers a hand right now? Thank them all. Thank you all. My name is uh, Andy Gibson. I'm so honored to serve as your Commissioner of Agriculture and Commerce. And we have some farmers here today who are in support of this program. I want to recognize Beeson Family Farm, Shelby and Marlo, and their son Landon, who provided these beautiful Jersey milk cows today. Y'all give them a hand. Thank y'all. Beeson Family Farm is uh, engaged in doing what we love to see, and that is providing local food for local people. I'll talk more about that in just a moment. Uh, also, I want to recognize some other special guests. On behalf of Farm Bureau, we have Clinton Ladner here today and Carla Taylor. Would you welcome them? All right. Thank you all. They're the voice of Mississippi agriculture. And with us also are uh, three of our FFA students, the future of Mississippi agriculture, Ty uh, John Tyler Wells, Grant Gorey, and Cy Sullivan. Where are they? Thank them. All right. We appreciate it. There they are right back there. So as we gather here today, we are going to share a few remarks and thoughts about how the importance of agriculture, and then we're going to have not one but two milking contests. Uh, <laughs> yes, I'll talk about that in a moment. More about Beeson Family Farm. You can find them on Facebook at Beeson's Family Farm. Check them out. They're also genuine Mississippi members, so you can find their farm information at genuinems.com. And Beeson Family Farm uh, is a beef cattle, commercial hay, small-scale dairy operation, and they process and bottle their own milk. They're located in Philadelphia, Neshoba County, Mississippi, and uh, they're, as I mentioned, a member of the MDAC's Genuine Mississippi program. They have a herd of 50 Jersey dairy cows, and that's pasteurized on their farm and bottled, but it's not homogenized. Now, what that means is, like the old-fashioned way, the cream still rises to the top when you get that bottle. The cream still rises. Homogenized milk, it all stays mixed in together, but this is the old-time way. And I'm really proud of the Beesons because they represent in so many ways not only the past, the history of Mississippi agriculture, but the future of agriculture. As a matter of fact, their milk is being sold in local restaurants, in local stores all around Mississippi, and we're so proud of them. Uh, they bottle whole chocolate and buttermilk, and they craft, listen to this, four flavors of ice cream. Mississippi ice cream, vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, and lemon. Learn more about them at GenuineMS.com or check them out on their Facebook page. Uh, Mississippi Farm Bureau Federation's Dairy Commodity Coordinators, Clinton Ladner, I already mentioned him. And in a few moments after the first contest, Carla Taylor, who's on the board, is going to be speaking. We have enjoyed a long-standing relationship with Mississippi Farm Bureau Federation. President Mike McCormick could not be here today. He's actually in Washington, D.C. on farm-related uh, business, supporting our farmers in D.C., and we appreciate that. But Carla Taylor will be sharing with us in a few moments, and thanks again to our FFA members. Some statistics. Today marks the 50th anniversary of National Ag Day. The 50th anniversary it began in 1973. Yeah, give them a hand. Thank you. The purpose of it, it's a, it creates a time that we mark out every year when producers, associations, corporations, universities, and governments all come together and appreciate and recognize the abundance provided by American agriculture. And in Mississippi, we're doing it today. Our theme, as I mentioned, is our food comes from the farm. That applies to the milk we're about to uh, have a little contest over, and it applies to every bite of food that you eat at your home and your family enjoys. The National Ag Day program believes every American should understand, value, and appreciate the hard work our farmers do. 
And in Mississippi, it's especially important because agriculture remains uh, Mississippi's number one industry. Not only that, it's the number one employer. At least 20% of the people who have a job in Mississippi are employed in agriculture-related occupations. And uh, as the number one employer and the number one industry, it is driving the economy of this state. And we're so proud of them. 34,700 farms across the state of Mississippi uh, producing this year a record, all-time record, $9.72 billion, that's billion with a B, dollars worth of agriculture products. And that's before it's ever processed. That's farm gate value. And uh, as I mentioned, the largest employer. Uh, we also not only provide food and fiber and shelter for ourselves and for our country as Americans, but we also ship our products around the world. Cotton is Mississippi's number one export. Last year we shipped uh, $858 million worth of cotton around the world to places like uh, Vietnam, Bangladesh, Pakistan, Mexico, Turkey, and Canada, and a lot of other great products. The number one industry, the number one commodity that is produced in our state is, guess what? Chicken. It's chicken. Poultry. So the next time you go through the Chick-fil-A drive through remember, there's a good chance you're eating Mississippi chicken right there. I guarantee you. And it's so good. Soybeans comes after that. Forestry, corn, cotton, cattle and calves, catfish, hay, sweet potatoes, hogs, specialty crops like blueberries. Now the official state fruit of the state of Mississippi is blueberry. Rice, wheat, milk, and peanuts. And uh, listen to this. Mississippi is number one in a lot of good things, but one of the best is we're number one in catfish production. How about that? Yeah, just give our, all of our farmers a hand, our catfish farmers. We're number three when it comes to sweet potatoes. And there's no potatoes that taste better than Mississippi sweet potatoes. Can I get amen right there? And pulpwood, pine pulpwood, rice and broilers, peanuts, soybeans, eggs, hogs and corn, beef cows. And now, with that maybe too long of introduction, it's time for our first milking contest. I want to thank our contestants today. First of all, we have Kayla Thompson with WJTV. Kayla, walk out here. Woo, Kayla. Yeah. And next we have Morgan Harris with WLBT. Morgan, yeah, all right. Now these ladies have done what many would not do, and that is to come forward and to compete in the good old fashioned milking contest. I mean, this is something that's been going on in America for, for, for an America for uh, generations, and I'm so proud of them for coming. And here are the rules. There are some simple rules, but they're important rules. The first rule is the time rule. Contestants will milk for two minutes. Two minutes. And uh, that time is a hard stop. The other rule is that if the cow puts her leg in the bucket, you got to pour it out and start over again. Huh? <laughs> and those same rules will apply to me in just a few moments. But as they do this, again, I want to thank Shelby and, and uh, Marlo and Landon. Thank you all again for doing this. They brought some beautiful Jersey cows. Let's give these cows a hand. How about that? And uh, I'm going to ask you, Shelby, now to take them and get them positioned, get them situated. And uh, we're going to kick it off. I want to recognize Claude Nash. Where's Claude? Right over here, Claude's going to be the official measurer, all right? And Hannah East is the official timekeeper right here. So y'all get in position in just a few moments. For those watching on Facebook, we're going to go silent in just a moment. We'll be back live in just a few minutes. Give us a moment. Thank you. Start milk. Start stop. All right. Here we go. Milk. <laughs> <laughs> Six, five, four, three, two, one, time! Oh, 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 News anchor milking contest results in the history of the state of Mississippi. And the winner today at this inaugural event is Kayla Thompson with WJ. <laughs> Leslie Gibson, the first lady of Mississippi Agriculture. Come over here.
Go ahead, be word. Time, but I do appreciate our farmers. I'm especially praying for our blueberry farmers this week since we've had such cold weather. Um, I was even out with every every blanket fitted sheet I own trying to save my blueberries this week. So my thoughts are with you. That's right. Thank you. And I hope to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody who found out about this is rooting for her. All right, they all rooting for her. It's not fair because the next contestant in our final milking contest is me, Mr. Andy Gibson, and uh, my wife says she can beat me. Is this? No, I don't know. <laughs> we don't know. We've never competed against each other, but we're gonna give it a try right now. So, same rules apply. Two-minute milking time. If the cow puts her foot in the bucket, pour it out and start over again. All right, so here we go. You ready? Let's do this. Typically, we sign these proclamations uh, at the top of that office building or, or in the Capitol, but uh, Commissioner Gibson would not allow for that today. He <laughs> insisted upon us doing this here, and I think it's awesome. And I think it's, I think it's appropriate in a state uh, like Mississippi that is so very dependent upon agriculture, uh, not only to provide food for so many families, uh, but also to uh, provide jobs and opportunities for people all throughout uh, Mississippi and, and also uh, I think it's important to note um, these individuals uh, and their family farms the opportunities for kids yes. to grow up and learn the value of hard work to learn the value of opportunity uh, to learn the value of taking care of oneself uh, and and to me uh, I think that's what today represents and so uh, I'm just gonna uh, say a couple of things I, I mentioned um, jobs, uh, agriculture employs almost 17.4% of the state's workforce, uh, either directly or indirectly. And there is no doubt that the American farmer is uh, the true conservationist, taking care of the land and all that nature has provided in order to provide for others. And so today, uh, with uh, Commissioner Andy Gibson here by my side, I am going to um, proclaim uh, March 21st, 2023, as Agriculture Day in the state of Mississippi, and encourage our citizens to recognize the value of agriculture to this great state and this great nation. Yeah. So, Woo. all right. Thank you. Well, sweet. It has been signed. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. 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 